we are not out of the woods yet, but we could be very close. In many ways, Broadway represents the heartbeat of New York City. But for more than a year, theaters have been shut down in this pandemic. Now a sign of hope as tickets can start going on sale as early as today for shows in the fall. The CDC releasing new projections showing that high vaccination rates, continued masking and social distancing could bring a sharp decline in COVID cases by July. Still threats remain like variants and questions about how long vaccines will provide protection. On Wednesday, Moderna saying that should vaccine booster shots become necessary, early data suggests theirs will be effective against strains from South Africa and Brazil. This is a very good piece of news because it suggests not only can we boost people's immunity back up and keep it high during the pandemic, but also that we can specifically boost it up against some of the new variants of concern. And now a new focus on kids. Canada announcing it has authorized the Pfizer vaccine in 12 to 15 year olds. All four kids in the Dropic family volunteered for the Pfizer trials through Cincinnati Children's Hospital, now encouraging others to roll up their sleeves. You're all done. It's a super quick shot and it, the payoff is like totally worth it. And as vaccination rates increase, some bright news for New York City, once the center of the pandemic, now making strides. In two weeks, the Yankees and Mets will begin seating fans in separate areas at the ballparks. Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney is warning her party that history is watching as her time on the party's leadership team appears to be coming to an end. Cheney is a consistent critic of former President Donald Trump's false claim that November's election was stolen from him. And she accuses some Republicans of trying to whitewash the January attack on the Capitol. House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy recently made it clear that he wants Cheney gone as the party's conference chairwoman. I've had it with him. It's, you know, I, I've lost confidence. Writing in the Washington Post, Cheney says her party is, quote, at a turning point and Republicans must decide whether we are going to choose truth and fidelity to the Constitution. Cheney also warning Republicans to, quote, steer away from the dangerous and anti-democratic Trump cult of personality and, quote, history is watching. Our children are watching. We must be brave enough to defend the basic principles that underpin and protect our freedom and our democratic process. She also vowed to continue speaking out against the backlash. As a party, we need to be focused on the future. We need to be focused on uh, embracing the Constitution, not embracing insurrection. Cheney is the daughter of former Vice President Dick Cheney. Trump recently called her a warmongering fool. Some Republicans, including Trump, are now backing New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik to replace Cheney in her leadership role. But not all Republicans are on board. The conservative organization Club for Growth tweeting, quote, House Republicans should find a conservative to lead messaging and win back the House majority. Cheney voted with Trump's agenda more than 90 percent of the time, far more than Stefanik. But the key difference is that unlike Cheney, Stefanik voted back in January in favor of overturning Joe Biden's election victory.